my name is Mark Mori, and today I want to talk to you about tingshas. Tingshas are little symbols basically attached by a string. You often see them in temples, you'll see them in yoga studios. They're used often for meditation, to focusing the mind on a sound, and in sound healing and room clearings. Um, I see people using uh, the tingshas in different ways. Sometimes they go like this, side by side. Sometimes they'll do it up and down. Now, if you want the most control, this is what I suggest. You sort of cinch it up, like uh, the rope, all the way up to the, the symbol itself with your fingers. And you line them in a perpendicular way. That way you have a lot more control on how hard and loud it is, how hard you hit it, how loud it is, and also um, uh, how many times you strike it. So every once in a while, if you're in a session, uh, uh, and this happened to me where I'm trying to hit it, and you might hit it a couple times, and you go, oh, geez, um, <laughs> no one noticed. That's a big deal, really. People usually don't notice that too much. But when we want to do a sound bath or lead a meditation in a certain way with knowing uh, what we intend to do, it's good to have the tools and the skills to do it in a way that um, is professional and um, the way we intended to. So with that, I want to thank you for joining me and hope you have